everybody. Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? Well, welcome. Let's see if we can do some warm-ups. I'm going to tell you to do something. You can do it forever and ever and ever until I say freeze. Okay, I want you to start with wiggle your finger. You can wiggle your finger forever and ever and ever until I say freeze. If you stopped, you're a good listener. Okay, I want you to wiggle your finger and pull on your earlobe. Here's your ear, your earlobe. Okay, one, two, three, go. You can do it and do it and do it until I say freeze. If you stopped, you're a good listener. Okay, I'm gonna make it even harder. I'm gonna ask you to wiggle your finger, pull on your ear, and click your tongue like this. Are you ready? Wiggle your finger, pull in, go. Freeze. If you stopped, you really are a good listener. Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your lap. They're in my lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them, right into your chin. Open wide your little mouth, but do not let them in. Very good. Can you do it faster? Let's see if we can do it faster. Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them right into your chin. Open wide your little mouth, but do not let them in. I wonder, can you do it faster? Let's see, take a deep breath. You ready? Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them right into your chin. Open wide your little mouth. But do not let them in. Again, I'm here dressed in my blue dress with my apron. And I'm going to move closer so you can see my tummy. I know no lady who swallowed a beret. What do you say she swallowed a beret? Oh, what a day. I know an old lady who swallowed a beanie. What a meanie, she swallowed a beanie. She swallowed a beanie after she swallowed the beret. Oh, what a day. I know an old lady who swallowed a baseball cap. What a bum rap, she swallowed that cap. She swallowed the cap after she swallowed the beanie. Swallowed the beanie after she swallowed the beret. Oh, what a day. I know an old lady who swallowed a fedora. Oh, did she adore a, a beautiful fedora? She swallowed the fedora, she swallowed the cap, she swallowed the cap, she swallowed the beanie, swallowed the beanie, she swallowed the beret. Oh, what a day. I know an old lady who swallowed a sombrero. Then down it went as fast as an arrow. She swallowed the sombrero, she swallowed the fedora, swallowed the fedora, she swallowed the cap. Swallowed the cap after you swallowed the beanie. Swallowed the beanie after you swallowed the beret. Oh, what a day. I know an old lady who swallowed a hat rack. I will stop here or we'll never get back. Oh, what a day. And it goes. All righty. And I'm taking off my dress. And in keeping with hats, I'm going to read you a story by Mem Fox. And this story is called The Magic Hat. And in this story, there is a refrain saying, the magic hat, oh, the magic hat, it moved like this and it moved like that. So you can say that when we read it. One fine day from out of town, without any warning at all, There appeared a magic hat. Oh, 
Oh, the magic hat, the magic hat. It moved like this and it moved like that. That, it spun through the air and over a road and sat on the head of a warty old, what do you think rhymes with road? Toad. Oh, the magic hat. Oh, magic hat. It moved like this and it moved like that. It spun through the air like a bouncing balloon and sat on the head of a hairy... What rhymes with look, balloon? Baboon. Oh, the magic hat. The magic hat. It moved like this and it moved like that. It spun through the air from way over there and sat on the head of a sleepy old bear. Oh, the magic hat, the magic hat. It moved like this, it moved like that. It spun through the air. It's true, it's true. And sat on the head of a, what rhymes with true? Kanga. Roo. Oh, the magic hat, the magic hat, it moved like this, it moved like that. It spun through the air for a mile and a half and set, uh, sat on the head of a lofty giraffe. And then... With a skip... And then with a hop, a wizard appeared with a sign that said, Stop! And everyone stopped and stared in surprise at the wonderful wizard with the sparkling eyes, who took from his beard, with a nod and a wink, a wand which he waved. And what do you think? There's that wizard. What did he do when he waved his wand? The toad, the baboon, the bear, and the roo, and of course the giraffe, oh, what a to-do turned back into people, dazed and confused, watched by a crowd that was highly amused. Look at. While no one was looking, the wizard, meanwhile, skipped out of town with a mischievous smile. Can you see the little hat? And of course, on his head was the fabulous hat. That made all the magic wherever it sat. Now I'm gonna try and get this little flannel board here. See if I can do that. See if you can see it. How many hats do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Five magic hats, five magic hats. They move like this, they move like that. One spun through the air and turned upside down, sat on a head and blew out of town. Four magic hats, four magic hats. They move like this, they move like that. One spun through the air and turned upside down, sat on a head and blew out of town. How many hats do we have? One, two, three. Three magic hats, three magic hats. They move like this, they move like that. One spun through the air and turned upside down, sat on a head and blew out of town. How many do we have here now? One, two. Two magic.
magic hats, two magic hats. They move like this, they move like that. One spun through the air and turned upside down, sat on a head, and blew out of town. One magic hat, one magic hat. It moved like this, it moved like that. It spun through the air and turned upside down, sat on a head, and blew out of town. And that's all the magic hats we have. When you are traveling around, maybe in the car with your parents or grandparents or anybody who's driving you around, have you seen any scarecrows like this? Yep. I am a happy scarecrow, stuck to my eyes with straw. I am supposed to scare birds and animals. It just seems to be the law. I wave my head and legs and arms to cause the animal such alarms. Sadly, they seem to like me. I think that is my flaw. Okay, let's stand up and move around a bit. Okay, I want you to show me your toes. I have toes. Show me your knees. Show me your hips. Show me your shoulders, your head, your eyes, your nose, your mouth, and your ears. Okay. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes, and eyes, and ears, and mouth, and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. We're just going to do it one more time, but we're going to do it really fast. And we'll see if you can keep up with it. And for those of you who can't, just point to something. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. And eyes, and ears, and mouth, and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Whoop. Very good. Here is the body. Here is the head. Here's a straw hat with a scarf of red. Two buttons for eyes. A carrot for a nose. Big red mouth with stitches in two rows. Do you know what we made? If you guess Scarecrow, that's good. Okay, I'm going to turn this around so you can see the next book. It's called Blue Hat, Green Hat by Sandra Boynton. And this was my grandchildren's favorite book when they were little. Blue hat, green hat, red hat. Oops, is that where a hat goes? Red shirt, blue shirt, yellow shirt. Oops, does our shirt go on our legs? Yellow pants. Red pants, green pants, oops, on her head. Blue coat, oops, a coat goes on her beak. We don't have beaks. Apparently this animal does. Red socks, oops. Do socks go on our arms and our hands? Green shoes, yellow shoes, blue shoes. Oops. Yellow hat, green shirt, 
blue pants, purple socks, red shoes. Oops. Okay, let's get ready for Mrs. Wishy-Washy. And we act this out, so when Mrs. Wishy-Washy comes along, we put our hands on our hips, or our hand to our brow going, oh, and then we point. And in the story is a cow and mud, and the cow jumps in the mud, the pig rolls in the mud, and a duck paddles in the mud. But the best part is when they get washed, get that mud off, and they go wishy-washy, wishy-washy, wishy-washy. Okay, so help me act out Mrs. Wishy-washy. I know there's a little glare on that. Sorry. Oh, lovely mud, said the cow. And she jumped into it. Oh, lovely mud, said the pig, and he rolled in it. Oh, lovely mud, said the duck, and she paddled in it. Okay, let's get our hands on our hips, because here comes Mrs. Wishy-Washy. Along came Mrs. Wishy-Washy, head to hand to our brow. Ah! Just look at you, she screamed. Now you can point. In the tub you go. In went the cow. Wishy-washy, wishy-washy, wishy-washy. In went the pig. Wishy-washy, wishy-washy, wishy-washy. In went the duck. Wishy-washy, wishy-washy, wishy-washy. Hands on our hips because we're Mrs. Wishy-washy. That's better, said Mrs. Wishy-washy, and she went into the house. Away went the cow. Away went the pig. Away went the duck. We can say this real loudly now. Oh, lovely mud, they said. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. Then the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Let's see if we can uh, find the spider. I have a little spider with me, but he's kind of funny. Sometimes he doesn't like to come out and play. And other times he does, but you know, I'm going to see if I can find him here. Oh, a spider, spider, spider. Come out. Uh-oh. He's hiding. He's inside there. He's hiding. How do we get him to come out? Well, how about on the count of three we say, Oh, spider, come out. Okay, you ready? One, two, three. Oh, spider, come out. <gasps> I see an eye, but he's still not out. Oh, dear, what do we do? Maybe we were too loud. Do you think we were too loud? All right, let's whisper. At the count of three, go, Oh, spider, come out. You ready? Okay. One, two, three. Oh, spider, come out. I see his eye, but he still won't come out. How are we ever going to make him come out? Hmm? Well, let's see. We did it loud, and we did it whisper. Oh, I know. Let's use the magic word. We can kind of whisper because I think we scared him the first time. We just to say, one, two, three, oh, spider, come out, please. Okay, you ready? One, two, three, 
poor spider. Come out, please. Huh? There he is. There he is. Huh? We did it. Okay, I'm going to sing a song, and I want you to sing just what I sang after me, like an echo. I am busy, I am busy, said the spider, said the spider. Very, very busy, very, very busy, spinning my web, spinning my web. I am busy, I am busy, said the spider, said the spider. Story hour is over, story hour is over, see you next week. See you next week. Bye-bye.